Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and let's continue our HTML5 project. Uh, I've got a page 1 and a page 2. I would like to create a page 3. So based on what we've already got, it's pretty easy to tell what we need to do. We're going to need a div with a data role of page, a div with a data role of header, data role of content, and data role of footer. So to give us some practice, I'm going to go after the last page in the project, which is line 37, and think about this concept. We're working with one HTML file, and it can have multiple pages, multiple screens. That's a very cool thing. So all we have to do is type div, and I recommend typing the pair of tags first. So I'll type div, give myself a couple of spaces, slash div. That way, I do not forget the pair. And as we should know by now, one wrong character can really break the whole project. So we've got div. I'll go back to the first div. Add data dash role equals quote end quote. Well, how am I redefining the properties of a plain old div? I'm giving it a data role of page. And this works because we've got a connection to jQuery mobile, which is what our line 44 is saying. This needs to be differentiated from the other uh, pages, so it needs an ID equals quote end quote. This ID um, property is not is not uh, specific to jQuery Mobile. It's uh, it comes from CSS. It's been around a while, far longer than jQuery Mobile, but it was uh, adopted adopted by jQuery Mobile to differentiate different pages. So this can be anything we want. This will be a third page, so we might as well call it third lowercase. We can define a data theme if we want uh, for different colors and such, but for the moment I will not. And I'll continue from this point. Uh, our third page will look pretty boring unless we add content. So uh, inside of what we've typed, we'll type another div pair div slash div and I already know that I'm gonna add a header a content area and a footer so to save myself some trouble I'm going to copy and paste and make three generic divs they need a data dash role first of header then data role of content then footer. Now be careful as beginners. These are data roles, D-A-T-A, -A, or data roles. Uh, I often see beginners typing date roles. They're not date roles, uh, although that sounds pretty tasty. These are data roles. So header, content, footer. Um, up at the top, the first thing I want to display in my header is a heading one so we've got the heading one pair this is the text that appears at the top we'll call it third page down on the footer I'll do something similar these will be h4 so that means they won't be as uh, big and prominent um, as the headers we'll do um, footer page Three. Obviously, we can type whatever we want. And then in the middle content area, we'll type a paragraph. And we'll say um, third page content. So here we've created a third page of content. The problem is that if I save it and run it in the web browser, I do not have any way to get to the third page yet. It exists, but I cannot get to it. So we'll say that once someone goes to the page 2, we'll have a new button to take us to page 3. So page 2 is found here, line 31. Page content goes here. Next line, I will add, well, first I'll start by saying, uh, go to page 3. OK, that's what our button will say. Our button is going to be made with a link. So we'll do the A tag, anchor text, anchor tag. We've seen that before. 
well, where does the link go to? href equals quote, end quote. href, if you recall, uh, is where is the is the location to where we're going. We're going to the third page, so that'll be pound third. As I said previous, previously, uh, the ID is um, the name of the page, and it does not use the pound sign. But when you refer to it in the href, it needs the pound sign. So now we've got a link to take us to the third page, but it doesn't look like a button yet. Going back to our previous example, line 17, that needs data roll button. So line 32, we'll add data dash roll. Notice I keep adding this extra content inside the tag. Data roll button. Let's see how it looks so far. I've saved. I need to refresh or reload. Go to second page. I'm on the second page. There's our button. Go to page three. It looks different from our first. We'll explain why in a moment. Go to page three. Click. There's the third page. Looks different than the other pages, and we'll explain that in a moment too. Did you notice the transition was different? It was a little bit of a fade. Now we're stuck here. Yes, we have the browser button, but we should also have some sort of navigation system. If I do force my way back, we see that on page two we had a back button. So we'll add a back button to page three. Seeing our example, line 25, shows our second page has a data add back button true. That's what allows the back button to show up. So on our, on our third page, third page content, or third page div, Line 40, we'll add data dash add dash back dash btn equals quote end quote true. Save it. Refresh. Go to page three. Page three. There's our back button. We didn't have to design a graphic, import it, etc. Uh, this is built into jQuery Mobile. Very cool. Now we didn't specify an animation, so it did the default fade. Let's change our transition, our animation. We add that to the button that takes us to the next page. We saw that in the second page, let's see, page, second page, uh, we saw that the button. Uh, here it is. We saw that the button to take us to the second page had a data transition. Oops. A data dash transition right here. And a name, in this case, flip. And yes, we have other options to choose from, and we'll see a list of it later. But for the moment, I want to go to page three. Here we go, line 32. And we'll say data dash. Uh, transition equals quote end quote. We'll try this one. Slide. How does it look? Go back after you've saved. Refresh. Go to page two. Go to page three. Slide. Back. Opposite slide. Very nice. Last thing we'll do is I would love the footer to actually be at the foot of the viewport of the web browser, just like my other pages for consistency. So once again, looking at the code that's already existed beforehand, we'll see line 20, div data role footer, data position fixed, which is also found on the headers and the header and footer of page two. So we'll do the same for page three. Line 41, div data role header, data dash position equals quote end quote fixed. Now it's stuck to the top of the screen. 
And to save myself a little bit of typing, I will also do the same thing, copy and paste to line 47, data roll footer, save, run. The headers where I expect it and the footer as well. Data position fixed. So there's our project so far. Adding a new page is simply adding new divs, which are empty containers, which are then defined by data roles, be it page, header, content, or footer. We made some buttons, made a new button, a back button, etc. Played with some transitions. So hopefully we're seeing the power of jQuery Mobile, and we'll continue to explore what we could do with it in the next videos.